what is going on you guys we are back out here and we finally made it down here once more to Real National Park down near Wollongong so I've actually finally come up here to this secret not so secret lookout and man this view is absolutely incredible but stay tuned because we've got some awesome stuff so stick around I've just come down here to the beach. Um, you can probably hear it's pretty loud right now and that's because the seas are quite rough. But I'm just waiting for the light to uh, for, fade from the sky and then I'm gonna uh, grab my drone out. So uh, yeah, in the meantime, I'm gonna find a good place to shoot. So what I'm trying to do at the moment, also it's super cold down here, but what I'm trying to do at the moment is get to a place where I can actually stand in the water, or not in the water per se, but get the reflection from the water. And I also know back there as well that there's a light that comes on after dark, so it's not going to be good for what I'm shooting. But I'm hoping that this area that I'm walking now doesn't get underwater because otherwise it'll be a very wet trip back to the car. <laughs> so let's keep going. You can see that the water's only just over there, about 10 meters away from it. I'm hoping it doesn't get any higher, but I hate to say it, it does look like it's getting higher. So, fingers crossed it stops. All right, now that I think I found a spot relatively out of the wind, I have a bit of explaining to do. So just bear with me. So, I have my tripod, my light as well, and, of course, I have my drone. So, I said that I was waiting for it to get dark and it's starting to get sufficiently dark now. So, basically, what I'm doing tonight, I'm doing drone light painting. So, I tried doing this a while ago and it just didn't work. So, I've come back for redemption. Hopefully, this time, you should go off without a hitch. So let me show you what I have. I have, like I said, my drone, and I got this little device here, battery, a little LED light in it. And so you can turn this one on, like so. And so what I'm gonna do, once it gets truly dark, I'm gonna set it up in the sky, do it to do circles on a loop, and capture some long exposures. So, I think it should be good. I said so a lot, but let's get into it. So for tonight's setup, I'm gonna have my camera on uh, probably five to 10 second exposure. When the drone goes around, it's gonna leave that light trail. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try a few different exposure times, uh, but that's why I want the water, because I thought it'd be a, give, give a cool effect. Uh, of you know the drone leaving the light pattern in the water, so let's let's get into it and um, yeah. So you can see this is my super simple setup. So I have the camera set up there, and then I plan to stand on the rock over here and have the drone fly over here doing laps or loops, I should say. So. Yeah, we can play around in composition, but 
I think it should be uh I think it should be good. That looks sick. I think I'm in the frame. Okay, so I just had to do a quick frame test. Oh, that was way too zoomed in. I just had to do a quick frame check. Let's see how it turned out. Yep. Looking good. Ready. Get this straight up in the air and get this party started. Get some shots where we still can before we get a. Uh, let's not get drenched, eh? So far, so good! camera take the shots so I'm just guessing it at the moment So I'm officially out of all my batteries. Three out of three batteries drained. I think I've got some pretty good bangers. I'm gonna wrap it up and head home. Hopefully, don't get wet. But otherwise, if you found some value from this video, be sure to like and subscribe. But with all that being said and done, I'll see you in the next video. See ya. Also, don't forget to go check out my Instagram right there. See ya.